Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Market Insights here on Calkine TV. I'm Sage and today we'll be shining some light on the Australian housing sector. The world is in dire need of a rapid energy transition in order to limit the rise in global temperatures. This transition cannot be driven without harnessing renewables like wind, solar, tidal, geothermal energy as well. In addition to this, electric vehicles have also been playing a significant role in curbing the emission levels. And the incorporation of low carbon emission technologies would require the extraction of large quantities of minerals which are used in their production. Though new energy technologies use several minerals in different proportions, EV battery minerals are among the most demanded ones. Graphite is one such energy transition mineral that is extensively used as an anode in lithium ion batteries, eventually used to power EVs, electronic gadgets and other portable devices. And apart from this, graphite is traditionally used in the manufacturing of crucibles, foundries, pencils and more. Graphite is also used in the manufacturing of steel, glass, cement, greases, brushes, brake, lining and more. And notably, natural graphite is found in two commercial varieties, crystalline graphite and amorphous graphite. The quality of both graphite types depends on their carbon content. And as per estimates made by the International Energy Agency, the world would require 25 times more graphite by 2040 compared to its 2020 levels in order to drive sustainable development. The EV sector would alone require 3,569 kilotons of graphite by 2040 relative to 140 kilotons in 2020, recording a growth of more than 460 times. And according to the records by the Government of India, Ministry of Mines data, the global resources of graphite were believed to exceed 800 megatons of recoverable reserves. At the same time, the global reserves of graphite have been placed at 300 megaton, among which China accounted for 30% and Brazil accounted 24%. On the production front. China is said to be the leading graphite producer with a share of more than 60%, followed by Mozambique, Brazil and India. Let's now quickly glance at the major players in the sector. The Toronto Stock Exchange, listed Leading Edge, is a Canadian-based company engaged in developing critical mineral assets in the European Union. And the company is focused at the Woxner Graphite Mine and Processing Plant in Sweden. Australian Securities Exchange listed CIRA is an Australia-based graphite miner as well. The company owns and operates the world's largest and lowest cost Balamar graphite mine in Mozambique. Australian Securities Exchange listed Triton is again an Australia-based miner engaged in the development of Mozambique's AnkuAB graphite project. In 2019, China's Jigao International Investment Development Company invested 19.5 million Australian dollars into Triton Minerals to become a strategic partner. So to sum it up, the incorporation of green energy and low carbon technologies has increased the demand for various transition minerals, including graphite. And the demand for graphite is anticipated to increase by 460 times by 2040. Hence, it will be interesting to keep an eye on these stocks as well as the sector. And that's all for now. We'll be back again with the exclusive Smart Market Insights show tomorrow. But till then, keep watching Calkine TV for the latest market updates, related insights. Sage here signing off for now.